It's 2020, it's an election year, and so it's important that you keep up. But if you're a cord cutter, you might be wondering, what do I do without, you know, cable news shouting at me all the time? Well, you're in luck, okay? There's a lot of free news content out there. We're gonna go through some of that, the best ways Keep yourself informed and get your election coverage, okay? However you want to consume it. So we're gonna talk about some ways to consume news all over the streaming spectrum. So we're gonna be talking about Fire Stick, Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, different ways that you can get news through all of those platforms. Let's dive in. Okay, the first thing to note is if you're looking for news apps, if you're on whatever device, there are going to be a ton of them out there. So on my Fire Stick, I'm gonna go over here to the apps uh, and go down to the categories. Let's scroll down to news and you'll see that there are a lot of places that wanna give you news content on your Fire Stick or whatever device you have. Most of these are gonna be available on most devices. So you can get coverage specifically of, you know, conventions or whatever events, uh, but I'm gonna point you toward a few other apps. If I go back to my home screen here, the there are specific apps that I would say you should go to. If you want local stuff, then you go for News On or Haystack. And what these are gonna do is pull together local coverage. So in this case on News On, it detects that I'm from Salt Lake City. So it wants to show me stuff from Salt Lake City, uh, Idaho, uh, Colorado, yeah, whatever. So it, here's Wyoming, okay. Uh, so it also though is gonna let you search for news feeds throughout the country. So you can find stuff all over the place, East Coast, West Coast, whatever you wanna see. This is gonna be local news coverage. But if you go back to, let's see, that was news on, we're gonna go to Haystack. This is gonna be similarly some local news, but also a lot of world news as well. So some international stuff. So in this one, you can search by category. I want science news, I want international news, I want, you know, again, you can go and get convention coverage or weather coverage, because there's a hurricane on now. Hope everybody's all right. Uh, anyway, but it's gonna pull in a lot of that stuff for you. So again, speaking of individual apps, if we go back to that news category, you probably saw there, we've got ABC, NBC, CBS, they all have their own news apps. Uh, and so let's say you wanna watch CBS News Live. You can go in here, download a specific app to get CBS News, and they're gonna have 24 seven live news for you to watch if you want something kind of in the background. They also will have some on-demand content that you can go in and watch as well. And again, this is available for all those major news networks. So CBS, NBC, ABC, They've all got them and you can download those individual apps. I'm gonna come back to that in just a moment. There's also one other standalone app that I'm gonna point you toward on, all, I think all these platforms it's available and that's YouTube. You might not suspect this as a great source, but if you go into YouTube on the left, there is a navigation bar here and you can go to a specific news section. It's actually surprisingly robust. There's a lot of stuff here for you to check out. Segments that you would find maybe on other apps that these companies have uploaded to YouTube you can find them here. And again, you can go through, you know, local COVID-19 stuff, national news, whatever. All right, before I leave the Fire Stick, let's talk about one more thing. And that is the native news app on your Fire TV. And that is right here. It's just called News. I actually like it so much that I highlighted it recently in the top 10 free Fire Stick apps video that I did. But what this does is it aggregates from different news sources, different uh, apps from across the Fire TV platform. So we already talked about, uh, you know, NBC, ABC, CBS, those are all available here, but you can also get Reuters News, Newsy, Bloomberg, whatever. There's a bunch of different apps that you can pull from. And when you do that, it's gonna give you an easy way to quickly navigate through all of these uh, different apps and find stories or get live feeds that you're interested in. I really highly recommend this app. Well, let's go ahead and move over to Roku. So over on the Roku, it's gonna be a similar story. You have all those individual apps, well, most of them. Unfortunately, I don't think Reuters TV is on uh, Roku anymore. I, I really like that one. But anyway, you do have some of those individual apps. So your Newsies, your ABC News, NBC News, all that is there. But the reason I wanted to pull you over to the Roku is to point out on the Roku channel, they do a similar thing to what I just showed you on the Fire TV. And that is a news section here that aggregates all that content. So you can watch live feeds. So you can watch live feeds from ABC News or Newsy. Here's Reuters, I, the 
app disappeared, but here they are on the Roku channel. So you can get those live feeds or you can scroll down here and get, uh, you know, individual segments, these on-demand segments, if you just want to grab a specific topic and see what uh, the story of the day is. You can also add in some premium subscriptions, uh, just like everywhere else on the Roku channel, but you can ignore that if you'd prefer. Lastly, let's jump over to Apple TV and Android TV. So if you're a user of one of those, then let's talk about what you have available for you there. All right, for Apple TV users and Android TV users, unfortunately, there's not a great news aggregator like you got on Roku or Fire TV. So with Apple TV here, which I'm using to illustrate, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I wish they would have a news section up here and aggregate a bunch of stuff but they don't do that. So what you're gonna have to do is find those individual apps uh, and download those. Luckily, here on the Apple TV, you can create folders. So you can't quite aggregate in the same way, but you can at least get all of your new stuff here together uh, in one place. So again, ABC, CBS, NBC, whatever your preference is, you get them all in one place and uh, watch whatever your preference is at the moment. So there you have it. There's a bunch of free news sources out there for you to enjoy. Even if you've cut the cord, it's not difficult to stay informed and you don't have to sit and scroll online all day. Although I should mention that a lot of these sources like ABC, NBC, CBS, Newsy, they have desktop apps as well. And so if you do prefer to watch on your laptop, your tablet, what have you, there are apps and websites for you to visit from whatever source you want to. Uh, however, you have decided to cut the cord. All right, so if this video has been helpful to you in any way, then I would appreciate a like. It helps the channel a lot, helps my self-esteem, which really needs it a lot, right? So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.